Hey guys, so this is part of our video series one. So what you want to do to remove the valve cover uh, bolts, you're going to need a 13 millimeter, all right? And I would recommend using a one half wrench so that you can get to the bolt right behind the crankcase doghouse. That way you don't, uh, you know, remove this and because generally what happens is there's two O-rings down here that tend to swell up. So if you don't plan to replace them, and that's how you pretty much can save some money. Uh, so after you remove those, um, you want to remove this last one in here, and then you pop, pop the valve covers off, right? So then after that, let me place this somewhere else. You have your injector o-rings I mean injector sorry uh, hold on let me get a closer look so you have your injectors your oil spout and you have your again injector oil spouts uh, glow plug in there your harness uh, well your under valve cover gasket under valve cover harness which supplies power to the injectors and the glow plugs then you have obviously the uh, valve springs and obviously the studs which you have uh, outside I believe is one, two, three, four, five, six studs outside and the rest are inside. Um, other than that, uh, what you want to do is when you are going to remove uh, an injector, you're going to uh, remove this, I believe it's a 10 millimeter. When you remove that, you're going to uh, push this hold down bolt or, or bracket per se upwards so that you can clear the bolt back there. And then you're going to get a pry bar and obviously pry on it from the top, but without this uh, gasket so you don't mess it up if you don't plan on replacing it again. Alrighty, so let's try and uh, remove injectors. Uh, so pretty much what you want to do is you want to loosen these bolts. Alright, I'm going to loosen up four. I don't know if you can see, but okay. Obviously, in the in the truck, it's a lot harder. Um, now, the next thing to do. The next thing to do. Well, before I forgot to tell you guys, uh, I'm using a five sixteenths uh, six point focus here, and then for the oil spouts, you're gonna use a number five uh, Allen bolt or Allen uh, socket. Let's get those loose. And the next one. All right, so now what we're gonna do that everything's loose, both the bottom, uh, hold down bolts and the oil spout, you wanna, uh, there's these clips. Here, let's get a closer look. There's these clips right here. You push back, right, and you wiggle it out, right? Same thing, push back, wiggle it out, again, and again, right? So now uh, for the glow plugs, you literally push or pull on. And the last one right here, there you go. And so now uh, you pretty much have to, what I like to do is I remove this little bracket first, or instead of pressing this downwards like that to be able to pull this out. But I need both my hands to be able to do it. Give me one second. Alrighty, so what you wanna do is um, you're gonna press on this, right? Downwards, and so it's gonna clear these uh, C-shaped, which C-shaped uh, plastic uh, corners that pretty much holds this in. Then after that, um, you're gonna slowly try and, uh, it tends to be stuck here, but pull this puppy out of here. All right, so once you pull this out of here, set it up elsewhere, and then now we're gonna continue uh, to remove the injectors and um, the glow plugs. So let's remove these bolts. 
All right, low battery. Okay, let's remove these bolts right here. Well, let me go around. That way I don't block you guys' view. All right, so those hold down bolts are out. The next one is the Allen uh, socket. Let me find it real quick. All right, right here. <laughs> Do not mind my dog. So pretty much, here you have it. All right, so there's four of those per head. The next one right here. out we're going to attempt to remove an injector and here's how it's done let me get you guys a closer look to it so pretty much you're going to get yourself a pry bar preferably that fits uh with the engine inside so something like a six eight inch pry bar and so you're going to push this forward so this hold down uh bracket that i told you guys about you're going to push it upwards right upwards and so now it's going to be able to clear that injector Let's see if you guys can see this better. There you go, you see? So, let me put this here. See, so when I push this, see? Now I can clear that, right? So, we're gonna... All right, so how would you normally uh, remove this injector is you push on the hole down, all right? So it can clear that bolt. And then now you literally pry on it, right? And so now it should pop pretty easy. Here it comes. <laughs> Anyways, I'm um, sorry about that, guys. Uh, it hit the light. Um, so, yeah, pretty much after. Jesus Christ, come on, man. So, after uh, prying on this puppy uh, with the hold down upwards, you pry on it from the back, and then the injector comes out. So, right, that, what you hear is. All the oil and fuel leaking in there, right? So I'm going to show you later. Let me see. Let me set this injector down. Uh, let me set it down here. So if you look closely, now this cylinder is full of fuel from the rails and oil, right? That's it dripping in there so what we're later going to have to do is you're going to have to remove this glow plug right there and then we're going to spin the engine over with the um, injectors in it that way we can clear the cylinders and we don't hydro lock our engine all right so the next step is obviously to remove all the other injectors so pretty much again hold down upwards pry on it injector comes off that's one, hold down, upwards, pry on it, that's two, hold down, upwards, pry on it, that's three. And then now it's just taking them out. And that's how you remove injectors, folks.